In this video, we're going to take a look at the watch command and the prompt command. And we're specifically going to focus on watch, but uh, you do have to use prompt in order to enable it, which is why I'm just rolling them both into one video. Now, where watch comes in handy is uh, there's multiple use cases for it, but I really like to use it when I'm playing a healer class. So a cleric or a shaman or a druid, and it allows you to see the condition of your tank as well as their opponent that they're fighting. So if I go ahead and just do a quick score here, you can see that I'm logged on as Prothal and we are grouped with Runic. So what I want to see is Runic's condition. So in order to do that, I have to type prompt watch. So now it says that your watched target's condition display is on. So if I just type now watch Runic, I can see Runic's condition. So I still know my hit points because that's right there. I have 102 hit points, which is perfect for me. But I can also see Runic's condition right there. Now there is, if Runic was to start fighting something, I wouldn't be able to actually see the condition of his opponent without turning that on as well. Let's go ahead and just do that real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and just kill this worm here real quick. So you can see that Runic, Runic bruised him, but I can only see that Runic is at perfect. And it looks like he kicked that worm's butt. So the worm is dead, but we couldn't see the condition of the worm. So in order to do that, we just have to type prompt watch underscore OPP. And that's going to turn on the display for opponents as well. So now if Runic kills another worm, you can see here that I can see he went down to very good and the worm is at very bad right now. So that is super useful. Now if uh, Runic for whatever reason was... Uh, even though he's a spellcaster, he's tanking right now. Um, that could, uh, based on how low he got, that can determine whether I need to, when I need to rescue, because that's uh, one of my jobs as a tank. So it's kind of a reverse reverse role right now, but you get the idea on how it works. And if you go ahead and just type in help watch, you can read all the, uh, all the little nitty gritties about it right there. There's how to clear it. That pretty much is how, uh, how it works, though. There's not a whole lot extra there. Uh, but let's just take a real quick look at prompt since we did use that command to enable watch. So if you type in help prompt, you're going to see a bunch of different things that you can toggle kind of off and on here. Um, it's probably, I mean, obviously watch is where I really use it. And then also if you're playing a scout, you're going to want to use it there as well. So you can see uh, when you're using a bow and arrow. Otherwise, you can see all these other, other things here that you can toggle off and on. Like you may not, when you're lower, lower level, you aren't going to be scoring much rank. Maybe you don't want to even pay attention to that. You could just type in prompt rank. And you can see just like that, it just removed that from my display down there. So if this is a little bit busy for you initially while you're kind of like getting used to it, you could turn that off. So just go ahead and run, uh, read through that, see if there's anything else that you want to toggle off and on. You can kind of just tailor it to whatever whatever makes sense to you. So uh, this is going to be a nice, uh, nice short video. So if you have any questions, go ahead and throw it down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.